10 Warning Signs You have poor blood flow. Blood flow is something we rarely think about, yet it's crucial for our overall health and well-being. Our circulatory system, led by the heart, works tirelessly to pump blood throughout our body, delivering oxygen and nutrients to every cell while removing waste products. When this system isn't functioning optimally, it can lead to poor blood flow, which can have wide-ranging effects on our health. In this video, we'll explore 10 warning signs that might indicate you have poor blood flow. 1. Cold hands and feet. One of the most common signs of poor circulation is consistently cold hands and feet. When blood flow is reduced, extremities like fingers and toes are often the first to feel the effects. This is because they're furthest from the heart, and when circulation is compromised, the body prioritizes blood flow to vital organs. If you find that your hands and feet are often cold, even when the rest of your body feels warm, it could be a sign of poor circulation. You might also notice that your hands and feet take longer to warm up when you come in from the cold. In some cases, the skin on your hands and feet might appear pale or even have a bluish tint. 2. Numbness and tingling Numbness and tingling, often described as a pins and needles sensation, can be another sign of poor blood flow. This feeling is most commonly experienced in the extremities, hands, feet, arms, and legs. When blood flow is restricted, nerve endings don't receive enough oxygen, which can lead to these uncomfortable sensations. While most of us have experienced temporary numbness or tingling after sitting in an awkward position, persistent or frequent occurrences could indicate a circulation problem. This is especially true if the sensation doesn't go away quickly when you change positions or move around. 3. Swelling in lower extremities. Swelling in the legs, ankles, and feet, also known as edema, can be a sign of poor circulation. When blood flow is compromised, fluid can accumulate in the tissues, leading to swelling. This is often most noticeable in the lower extremities due to gravity's effects. You might notice that your shoes feel tighter as the day goes on, or that you can see indentations in your skin after removing socks. The swelling might be accompanied by a feeling of heaviness or aching in your legs. In some cases, the skin in the swollen areas might appear shiny or stretched. 4. Varicose veins Varicose veins are swollen, twisted veins that are visible under the skin, most commonly in the legs. While they're often considered a cosmetic issue, varicose veins can also be a sign of poor circulation. They occur when the valves in the veins that help blood flow back to the heart become weak or damaged, allowing blood to pool in the veins. In addition to their appearance, varicose veins can cause symptoms such as aching, heaviness, or throbbing in the legs. In some cases, they can lead to more serious complications like blood clots or skin ulcers. 5. Fatigue and Weakness Feeling consistently tired or weak, even after getting enough sleep, can be a sign of poor circulation. When blood flow is compromised, your cells don't receive enough oxygen and nutrients, which can lead to feelings of fatigue and weakness. 6. Skin Color Changes changes in skin color can be another indicator of poor circulation. When blood flow is restricted, it can affect the appearance of your skin, particularly in the extremities. You might notice that your skin appears pale, bluish, or even has a purple tinge. 7. Slow Healing of Wounds If you notice that cuts, scrapes, or other wounds are taking longer than usual to heal, it could be a sign of poor circulation. Good blood flow is crucial for wound healing, as it brings oxygen and nutrients to the injured area and helps remove waste products. When circulation is compromised, the healing process can be significantly slowed, you might notice that minor injuries that would typically heal quickly are taking weeks to improve. In severe cases, poor circulation can lead to the development of non-healing wounds or ulcers, particularly on the legs and feet. 8. Hair loss on legs and feet While it might seem unrelated, 
hair loss on the legs and feet can actually be a sign of poor circulation. Hair follicles need a steady supply of oxygen and nutrients from the bloodstream to grow. When blood flow is restricted, it can lead to thinning hair or even complete hair loss in the affected areas. You might notice that the hair on your legs or feet is becoming thinner, or that there are patches where hair no longer grows. This is often most noticeable in men, who typically have more visible hair on their legs, but it can affect women as well. 9. Digestive Issues Poor circulation can also affect your digestive system. The digestive organs require a steady supply of blood to function properly. When blood flow is compromised, it can lead to various digestive issues. You might experience symptoms such as constipation, abdominal pain, or a feeling of fullness even after eating small amounts. In some cases, poor circulation can contribute to the development of more serious digestive problems like inflammatory bowel disease or ischemic colitis. 10. Cognitive Issues Our brain requires a constant supply of oxygen-rich blood to function optimally. When circulation is compromised, it can lead to various cognitive issues. You might experience symptoms such as difficulty concentrating, memory problems, or a general feeling of mental fogginess. In some cases, poor circulation to the brain can lead to more serious issues like dizziness or frequent headaches. In severe cases, it can increase the risk of stroke or other neurological problems. While occasional mental lapses are normal, persistent cognitive issues, especially if they're accompanied by other symptoms of poor circulation, should be evaluated by a healthcare professional. The good news is that there are many ways to improve circulation. Simple lifestyle changes like regular exercise, maintaining a healthy diet, staying hydrated and quitting smoking can make a big difference. In some cases, medical treatments may be necessary to address underlying conditions contributing to poor circulation. Remember, your circulatory system plays a crucial role in your overall health. By paying attention to these warning signs and taking steps to improve your circulation, you can help ensure that your body gets the oxygen and nutrients it needs to function at its best. Conclusion Lastly, prevention is always better than cure. Even if you're not experiencing symptoms of poor circulation, adopting healthy habits that support good blood flow can have numerous benefits for your overall health and well-being. Regular exercise, a balanced diet rich in fruits and vegetables, staying hydrated, managing stress, and avoiding tobacco use are all excellent ways to support healthy circulation. By being aware of these warning signs and taking proactive steps to maintain good circulation, you can help ensure that your body's vital systems have the support they need to keep you healthy and active for years to come.